My name is Richard Pine. I am a third year physical therapy student in the Elon Physical Therapy Department. And this is a summary and brief demonstration of neuromuscular electrical stimulation. As far as the article goes, um, the level of evidence is uh, level 1B. And the target population was ages 50 to 85 years old. They all had specifically post tricompartmental cemented uh, TKA with a medial parapetellar surgical approach. And the type of electrotherapy that was used was NMES using a portable MP300 PV stimulator, so very similar to this device right up here. The placement of the pads uh, was the uh, distal medial quadricep and then the proximal lateral quadricep, right at the insertions of the quadricep muscle. The, uh, Parameters that they used was a rate of 50 PPS, uh, on cycle of 15 seconds, off cycle of 45 seconds, ramp time of 3 seconds, uh, the pulse duration was 250 microseconds, uh, the waveform was symmetrical biphasic, and uh, the electrodes were self adherent rectangular, uh, specifically 7.6 by 12.7 centimeters. So again, very similar in size to what um, is being used in this demonstration. All those parameters can be adjusted in the custom um, settings of this portable MP unit. All of the participants were given this MP unit to take home with them. As far as the protocol goes, they uh, were using this for nine weeks. Um, and for each session, um, they had 15, um, they used the MP to elicit 15 contractions per session. Uh, there were two sessions per day, and it was done six to seven days per week. Uh, they were assessed prior to their TKA, again at three and a half weeks um, post-TKA, and then at six and a half weeks post-TKA. With each contraction, what the goal was was to elicit a maximal um, contraction as tolerated. And so, based on um, the settings of the MP, what they were able to do is self-adjust the strength of the amplitude uh, to whatever they could tolerate. At three and a half weeks, uh, they had mean um, intensity amplitude of 83.7 milliamps, and uh, this um, was a significant association of NMES training intensity with percent change in torque from the preoperative value and activation. At six and a half weeks, it was a little bit different. There was a mean intensity of 82.1 milliamps, significant association of NMES training intensity with percent change in torque from the preoperative value, but not with activation. 10 of the participants reached 100 milliamps, and this was a limiting factor because that was the maximum that the device was able to go to. So uh, they weren't able to determine whether they were able to elicit a greater contraction purely because the device was not able to um, go any higher than 100 milliamps. So the relationship between NMES dose and muscle strength activation was more marked at three and a half weeks than it was at six and a half weeks, suggesting that NMES dose may have a greater impact during early rehab than during later rehab after TKA. As far as whether this can be a beneficial tool used in the clinic, I believe it can be. The uh, population that was studied is a very typical population you would see um, in an outpatient clinic, for example, being 50 to 85, year old, uh, 85 years old and having had a TKA. Additionally, uh, this particular, particular um, stimulation device um, is very um, common and it's easy for them to be able to take home with them. Um, and to be able to manipulate um, and use uh, while they're at home as well. Because um, results were seen uh, even over this short period of time, uh, I believe that this can definitely be a beneficial um, adjunct to whatever therapy is being used. Thank you.